Today's show begins in the Washington, D.C. area for the latest basketball star to emerge from the Washington Catholic Athletic Conference. That's this week's five-star feature. If you're listing the best point guards in the 2020 class and you don't mention Jeremy Roach, he'd like to invite you to a game at Paul VI High School in Fairfax, Virginia. The senior missed his entire junior season with a torn ACL, but he's out to remind everyone why he was regarded as one of the elite point guards in his class before his injury. Uh, it's real important to me because they're like, nobody's even mentioning me anymore. Like, I mean, I'm still, I still got the big name, but like all over social media, I'm not over social media. Like I'm, I'm kind of in the, in the corner, but like, I go on social media a lot, but like, I don't really post that much. I, I kind of stick to myself, but like when you're not that guy, like everybody's not talking about you all the time. Like you feel like, dang, do they, do they still know like I can still hoop? It's a devastating injury, and what happened for our players, and this is a very unique situation, he, it was, uh, we got the bad news uh, after we went to the doctors, uh, and we had a scrimmage that night, and as we're talking, and as I told the team about it, Jeremy hadn't gotten there yet, the kids just broke down and cried. So what was amazing that night was, he hung up the phone with me and said, okay, coach, I'll see you in about an hour, and I'm like, I'm seeing you in an hour, and he said, yeah, coach, I'm coming, I'm still coming to the scrimmage, I gotta come and support my teammates. And, you know, it's just, it, it, I think that speaks volumes of, of, of who he is and how he's wired. The mindset that makes him a good teammate also makes him a good floor general. He has the leadership to lift up his teammates and also the skill set to stand out against any opponent. I feel like I just have that balanced game. I can shoot, I can score, play defense, get my teammates involved, lead a team. I guess I have that overall game and, and do whatever it takes to win. My jump shot's not falling, I can definitely get to them. If it's falling, then like, for, if my jump shot's falling that day, it's over for everybody. One of the things I like to talk about Jeremy is, is his, his ability to kind of check off all the boxes. We see how talented he is on a basketball court, but he's a great teammate, he understands, he is that floor general, he's so smart, his basketball IQ's off the charts. Very humble, like just is hungry to learn, so coachable. So he checks off all the intangibles and then it lets everything else shine. And I think that's one of the reasons I, I've always told him and, and some of my former players have uh, heard me say is I think at the end of the day, uh, he'll be the best player that we've ever had here at, at PBI. And, and I'm excited to be able to say that, um, knowing how good we've, you know, we've, we've been and how many great players we've had. Jeremy's play early in his high school career caught the attention of USA Basketball. And he's been able to represent his country on two occasions. He won gold medals both times with the U16 team at the FIBA Americas and the U17 team at the FIBA World Cup. Yeah, I'd say the biggest thing is like learning to compete at that high level, realizing you can be that good. I think it's a confidence booster for sure for every player that gets a chance to be part of Team USA Basketball. They can look around saying, hey, I belong with the best. And, and then not only that, from that moment on, you get a chance to really understand I still have a lot of work to do and work, work at my craft. So I thought he came back a better leader, very much more vocal uh, and understanding the bigger picture of what basketball is all about in his world, you know, that elite world. And I thought that was a phenomenal experience for him. And it really they kind of did catapult them ahead and kind of sped up the process, if you will. They definitely have to take my game to another level because you, everybody on the team can play. So then you got to find out like where you can fit in, how you separate yourself from all the other great players on the team. Like it really makes you like use your teammates because everybody can hoop. So it really made me a better player, better teammate, and better leader. For a senior year, Roach has an ideal stage to reestablish himself as an elite point guard. The Washington Catholic Athletic Conference prides itself on its depth and fierce competition. Yeah, conference is the best in the country. So his his senior year, he's he's looking to come back and, and kind of finish finish it off. Last time last time he played, he went 18 and 0 in the league play. Uh, it is it's the best conference in the country, and, and uh, so we need we need Jeremy at his best to be able to, to compete. Uh, it's very exciting. Um, yeah, you got to get up for every game. No game's a sleeper game. It, it, it doesn't matter if it's a one eight game. Like everybody's coming at you. Everybody has talent, so like you got to bring it every single night. No matter how this season goes, there's one more piece of evidence that Roach has a bright future. He earned a scholarship offer from Coach Mike Shashevsky, and he's committed to the Duke Blue Devils. Well, I just felt like it was a gut feeling. I felt like it was just the right place. Coach K, he brought me in and said like I'm a priority to him. So I was like that really stood out to me too. And just the school itself, like the academics. The people there, the fan base, like this is a great school. I think his mentality is the right and perfect for it. You know, he's going in there to you know to be part of something bigger than himself, uh, and he understands that. And I think he he's, he he kind of thrives in, the, in in pressure situations. So I think he's going to just bask in that and, and, and having that opportunity to be you know part of you know a special program. So I think that's going to be a lot of fun to watch him progress. But I have no doubt that he can handle that that, that pressure and that, the responsibilities and expectations. And he knows going in, he's got work to do. And 
Uh, and that's that's kind of it's gonna be fun to watch. And if all this still hasn't convinced you that Jeremy Roach is one of the nation's best, you'll just have to watch him prove you wrong.